Today we're back on the Nice Guy subreddit and it's going to be so fun. There's something so addictive about reading people who think they're super nice, but they're really not. And yeah, this is probably going to be terrifying, so I hope you're ready, guys. And with that being said, enjoy, guys. Something crushed when I saw her at the grocery store. I should say, this is a throwaway account. When I was in 8th grade, we had to do square dancing for PE. And I danced with this girl named so-and-so. I don't remember the dance, but we had to hold hands and I fell head over heels in love with her. What? Like, immediately? She was really out of my league, so I never had the courage to approach her. But I used to have vivid fantasies about dating her, marrying her, and having a life with her. She moved her first year in high school, so I thought I'd never see her again. I saw her at Safeway yesterday. She looked exactly the same and I said hello. I asked her if she was so-and-so and she said yes and I said she probably doesn't remember me but we went to middle school together and she said that she does remember dancing with me in PE. I was so stoked that I went into telling her how much I was in love with her. Oh my god. But too afraid to approach and she always seemed so sweet and she was still so beautiful. I said that silly schoolboy me had dreams of marrying her and having kids and I even had the names picked out. I asked what she's doing now and she's getting her masters in architecture but it turns out the office she works at is right down the street from my work. She said that she had to go and I asked for a number and she gave it to me and said maybe we could catch up with a group of friends sometime. I was so stoked and we said goodbye. About 10 minutes later I thought of the name I wanted to name our kids because it was based on a book that we were reading in ELA, Flowers for Algernon. So I FaceTimed her to tell her. Wait a second, you're FaceTiming them to tell them what you're gonna name the child that you have with them? After seeing them once in school? She didn't answer and I got this text message. Hi I'm sorry about this whole encounter. It was really intense for me. I wish you well, but please don't contact me again. Oh no, this is awful. But yeah, of course it was intense. I tried to call her on regular phone this time and I think she blocked me. I saw my girl cousin later last night and showed her because I don't want so-and-so to get the wrong idea. I'm just a normal guy. I was thinking about maybe stopping in at her work and explaining things again. Nah, nah, nah. My cousin said that text was as blunt as it could have been without using swear words. She said I was fine to say hello. I was weird when I told her about my daydreams. And I was a certified a-hole when I tried to FaceTime her 10 minutes later. And she doesn't even have words for what I'd be if I stopped by her office. I'd like to get a second opinion. Um, you don't need one. <laughs> Every person under the sun is gonna say the same stuff. Of course you should leave them alone. Oh my god. Just because you're head over heels in love with somebody and fantasizing about having kids with them, surely does not mean that they feel the same way about you. Imagine how uncomfortable you'd be if somebody that you're not interested in keeps trying to tell you what they're gonna name the kids that they're gonna have with you. That's bloody horrifying. Yeah, like the top comment says, thank god he has a trusted female family member who can give him sound advice. To disregard that advice and to seek affirmation for his actions from internet strangers is sus behavior. Yeah, but I don't think they're disregarding that advice. I think they're surprised about what they said and they're like, surely nobody else feels like this. Like, oh, it's totally normal for me to go up to somebody and tell them that I'm in love with them, right? This is not unhinged behavior, is it? Yes, it 100% is. Why is it a turn off for women? I'm 22 male, 5 foot 7, athletic body, football player, currently preparing for an MBA. My hobbies are singing, reading, fitness and finance management. I'm literally making 30k rupees a month. Wait, how much is that? 30,000 Indian rupees equals 562 Australian dollars. Every month we're just investments and I surely believe I have a bright future. The problem is being nice or gentlemanly. No, it's not. <laughs> like, we don't even have to read this. That's not an issue, you know? I'm the elder son of my single mother and I have a sister too. So I treat every girl gently, like making them feel safe around me at night, dropping them to their doorstep when they're late and worried about time and danger, treating them good and you name it, whatever is the most appropriate way to treat them. I am emotionally very stable, so I don't make it seem like I'm attracted to someone. It seems like I'm too young for this husband behavior and women don't like it? Am I being too nice than I should be? What am I doing wrong? Should I start smoking and drinking and become an F-boy? Serious note, I can anytime do that. I'm a good looking man, I just want your opinions. Yeah, but how is somebody meant to give their opinion on this? We don't know anything about you, you know? Like, are you being gentlemanly and nice so you can get something in return? Maybe that's an issue? Is the gentlemanliness like super forced and weird and just sort of out of place? It comes off like a strategy to get something in return. 
turn. So yeah, maybe don't think about it like that. Yeah, this one. Riz tips for boys. If she says that she's in the shower, respond with, without me. Say, where my hug at? Whenever you see her in real life, she's gonna mess with it. If she leaves you unopened, keep texting until she responds. Shows that you care. Call yourself ugly a lot so she'll compliment you. Works 100% of the time. The sad part about this is there are so many people, nice guys, who don't see any problem with any of these. And they're like, yeah, bro, these are definitely Riz tips, especially the one about messaging them until they respond. Like, yeah, if they don't respond or if they don't respond super fast, just send them a million messages and don't leave them alone ever. And there are people that think that's totally fine. That's terrifying. Hey, I'm so-and-so low. I saw you on Facebook dating. Don't worry, I'm no stalker. I just looked you up and find you just like that. Yeah, because saying that you're not a stalker is very reassuring, isn't it? Hi, so maybe I'm just impatient with making a match, lol. Interesting. Hi, I'm so-and-so. So tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a weirdo, lol. But good kind of weirdo. Not the weirdo that'll try to do the horizontal mumbo on the first day. Now, that's not me, lol. Yeah, I don't know, lol. But why? Is it interesting? But also, you're hella cute. So instead of asking about myself, tell me about yourself, lol. How old are you? And just how easy was it for you to find me? Actually, you're the first thing that popped up. And don't worry, I'm in my 20s. I'm not teenage, I can tell you that. I guess because we do live relatively close, so it gathered all the people near my area. Sorry, I know I might be a lot for you, but I'm here for you, everyone, even though we just met. I'm too nice, I'll tell you that. Are you okay with younger guys, though? Like, I'm in my 20s, but younger, I can tell you that. Why do they keep saying, I'll tell you that? The fact that you might say you're actual age is a huge red flag. I hope you find what you're looking for, but it's not me. Good luck. I'm 20. Trust me. I never said I won't say it. I was just scared because I know you're older. Fine. Bye. I'm not a red flag. Trust me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I texted you a while ago and I was just a very high. I'm sorry. That's why I didn't give away my age because I just wanted to know you and all the good stuff. Yeah, no problem. You did learn the best part about me. I'm open and honest and I expect you to be as well. Good luck in life. Yeah, I understand. And I just really kind of want to like talk to see if you're good, I guess. If you really want it though, you're really cute. I'm 20 by the way, almost 21. I did change so I won't do that again. Because I'm the same way, I just sometimes like to joke around. And when I'm not open, that means I'm scared. Honestly, I could never pursue any type of relationship with you. First off, your lack of spelling, grammar, punctuation and full word or sentence structure is killing me. Trying to read your messages. And second, I'm not interested in drug users. Third, I'm not interested in children and I understand that you're 20, but your actions and explanations definitely show your immaturity. You're young, enjoy it. But if you're seeking to make a good impression, there are a lot of areas lacking. I apologize if anything I said comes off offensively. I only mean constructively. Well, to be honest, I'm not immature. I'm actually very mature for my age. Just because I have a lack of punctuation just means I need to attend school more, which I am in school. And I don't even do drugs like that. And plus, I don't believe it is a drug because it's legal. I don't want a relationship with someone that's kind of ignorant about the law. Bye. Yeah, to be honest, I was expecting something worse. But yeah, obviously, don't try and reassure somebody by saying that you're not a stalker. And obviously, you gotta stop thinking that you're too nice. I don't think I've ever known anybody that was too nice. And it's barely even a real problem, is it? The world and society doesn't work for a great person like me. <laughs> oh my god, what a good start. And by that, I mean a terrible start. I'm overqualified for these jobs. They don't even appreciate me or hire me. I'm too good of a man for some of these toxic ass girls out here that play games and are looking just to use the man. It's hard, if not impossible, for someone like me to thrive in society when this is how the world has become. What a shame. It's like almost any and every girl I'm attracted to nowadays are proving their low quality red flags and only trying to hustle men out of their money and not have a real connection. The amount of girls I've come across where they're like either sub to my OnlyFans or we don't need to keep talking. Shaking my freak head. I miss having a real connection. Where are all the real women at? They're running away if you have an attitude like this. The real good men are all about protecting their peace while suffering in silence, seeing how women be acting nowadays. And they don't put up with games they try to play with us. If you can't give a man peace, he ain't gonna want you. If all you do is play games and test him and make him chase you, he ain't gonna want you. If you're making him give more effort than you are, he ain't gonna want you. It's 2023 and the real good men are sick and tired of this BS and we see at all. We're not dumb. We don't play that. We're grown. You want to genuinely be with us? Get grown. The number of men choosing to be single is growing astronomically because we're all sick
sick and tired of what relationships have developed into lately. Yeah, but I mean, you can't possibly think that every woman is like this, can you? And it's good to be proud of yourself and to hold yourself to a certain standard, but you shouldn't live your life feeling like you're superior to every other person. I'm not angry and I'm sorry for ignoring you for so long, but I don't think we should see each other anymore. I don't think we're very compatible. It's okay, it's your choice, but why we need to be compatible? Do you have somebody else? We don't need to be, but I realized I prefer to spend time with people that I am because I'm still much busier than I expected and it isn't fair on my part to keep you waiting either. No, no, it's fine. I understand. So your own people now? I just want you to be happy. I guess so. Me too. And I think we'll both be better like this. I think so as well, but you should be clear with me. Whenever you want to see, I'm here for you. Enjoy your life. I know for you, I was just an option. It's okay. I'm sorry for my reaction yesterday. I understand what you mean. I hope the best for you. Okay, that should be the end of the conversation, but I don't feel like it is. Hi, have you been? Everything okay? Hi, yeah, I'm okay. What about you? Yeah, not bad. Busy with work. Do you have so-and-so? Speaking friends. I need someone to help me like a tutor. Can you help me? I'll pay. Uh, I don't know. Many people that speak that here. You could ask in the so-and-so group. I left it because there's no social events and the only one I was talking to was you. But you don't talk to me anymore, so yeah. Even if I tried, I don't have time for classes or anything. I don't know what to tell you. That's okay. I know you were very busy. That's good. Do you feel guilty? Guilty about what? What happened? With who? Me. I do feel a bit bad that I didn't have enough time, but that would have just kept going on. So I thought it was best to end it. Yeah, probably it would. But I miss that I lost you as a friend. That's what I feel guilty about. How are you? Hey, how have you been? I just saw you with a black guy. Uh, what? I saw you going into so-and-so. No, I haven't been to so-and-so in like a week. Oh, sorry, I thought it was you. Hey, do you have already accommodation for next year? When you have time, can we hang out? I have COVID, so no. Hey, did you go last night to so-and-so? Hey, how is it with your COVID? Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, how's your COVID? Hey, can we meet if you have time? God, this is brutal. Hey, I saw you in the club the other day. Oh, when? The weekend. I went every night like three days in a row. Probably Friday. Oh, okay, yeah, I wanted the boy band versus girl band party. Went. How did you find it? It was fun. I like One Direction and they were in the poster. That's good. You were so drunk. Not really. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Okay. Are you still angry with me? When did I say I was angry? I had that feeling. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, are you in so-and-so? Hey. Hey, how are you? Hey, you're going to that Latin party tomorrow? Hey, how have you been? Hey, how was your results? Hey, how are you? Are you in so-and-so? Hey, can we meet a last time? I thought we agreed not to see each other anymore. I know, but one last time? Question mark. Yeah, no thanks. All right, sure. Don't forget who was there for you when you came first. Please, can we see each other a last time? Next year, I'm not there. No, I'm not interested. That's clear. And by the way, this conversation has already gone on for over a year. Hey, my friend wants your number. You won't mind, right? I do mind. Don't give my number to anyone. In fact, you can delete it. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Why? What happened? Why you act so mean to me? Because I'm trying to be nice while still making it clear that I don't want anything to do with you anymore and you don't seem to get it. Texting me once in a while won't change my mind either. I just don't want it. But you're not nice like before. Then leave me alone. Maybe I'm not nice because I'm tired of saying no for almost two years. I didn't even ask you before just lately. But did I hurt you? Oh my god. <laughs> Can this conversation end please? The entire time was like, oh yeah, okay, bye. Just kidding, I'm back. <laughs> like maybe I can message again. And I can't believe it went on for so long. Like yeah, I think what we just read spanned two years. That's unbelievable. I hope you have a good day at work. Hit me up whenever you have the time. What up? How's it going? Remind me not to give you a compliment or else I won't hear from you. Lol. I was trying to be nice in this crappy ass world, but I think you might have misunderstood my intentions. Anyways, I think you're a cool ass person and I was just trying to get to know you outside of the workplace. Wow, so aggressive. Remind me not to try to be nice. Oh my god. <laughs> like, relax. Everything's okay. Women never go for good guys like us. Okay, so we don't even need to read this. Yes, they do, dude. Yep, and it's crazy because they don't realize that I'm so much nicer than the guys they go for. How the hell do you know that? And assuming that it isn't nice. Just give me a chance and let me show you how freaking nice I <laughs> Are they joking? They've got to be joking, don't they? Okay, but no guys are as nice as us. Just don't confirm with any of our 
our exes because they're lying bee archers who can't be trusted. This is so ridiculous. I don't know if they're being serious or not. What do you mean? Yeah, like this comment says, that moment when crazy has gone so crazy that you can't distinguish between sincerity and sarcasm anymore. Yeah, like you'd read this and assume that they were joking. But yeah, they're probably not joking. I used to be a nice guy, but I learned the hard way it's best to be an a-hole in a relationship. Cause F being nice, cause girls exploiting that niceness. Lesson learned. Nah, 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 definitely not. And like, what's the logic here? Oh, I'm gonna be an a-hole in a relationship? What the hell is that gonna accomplish? That's what's so frustrating about this stuff. It doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, you're frustrated, but you don't stop being a good person because you're frustrated. I'm a recovering nice guy. I've never thought I was perfect. I've never even liked myself, but I've always thought that I'm a good person and others just treat me like crap. But lately I've been going through something and it made me think. There were two ladies that I wasn't on good notes with. Let's call them S and A. S rejected me and I still kept on trying to ask her out. She was completely ignoring me and it made me angry, even though I always knew that I was the bad one in this story. And then there's A. I tried a different approach with her. I tried just to talk to her and text her and for a moment it looked like we were both having a good time. Then suddenly she stopped texting me back and was ignoring me. I was really mad and I really thought that she was the bad one. But not very long ago I started thinking and I realized that I might be a nice guy. I immediately went on this subreddit and some of the posts looked exactly like my messages. They weren't my messages but still. And that completely broke me. Like I said I always thought that I'm a good person and a realization like that made me almost cry. I've never wanted to become this so I admittedly apologized to S and A but that was just the first step. I'll work on myself so it never happens again. Wow that's so beautiful and it's so nice to read something like this on here. And the fact that you realize this and you're going to change it is amazing. Yeah, wow, that could be the most wholesome nice guy post I think we've ever read. It's so nice to see people break out of this way of thinking as well. Yeah, wow, that's so awesome. Keep up the good work. Local ice cream guy gave us some free ice cream. This guy and his family run a little ice cream truck around our town and decided to just give us some free ice cream. Wait a second, is this an actual nice guy? I don't know why, but it's hot here and that was very nice. Actually, there's more. Apparently they lost their house during a rough storm. We live in Florida. And my parents and grandparents helped to get them a new mobile home, so they came to pay us back. Still really nice people. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. They thought the Nice Guy subreddit was for nice guys. Like, genuinely nice people. God, that's so funny. I think my little brother's turning into a nice guy. How do I stop it? Should I? This is more of a question that includes stories. I, female 16, have a little brother, male 11. He's the youngest out of my siblings and usually gets what he wants, which is something common with the nice guys I encounter. They're usually the youngest. I never questioned it when he was younger and always thought he was being a little idiot because he's a kid, which means I let him get away with things. I've had past conversations with him where he acts like this, but I decided to stop this way of thinking before it gets out of hand. He keeps saying sexist remarks and acting in a way a nice guy would. For context, I'm the only one out of the four siblings that cooks without making a big deal. Sometimes they ask me to cook for them and I will since it isn't that serious. Neither boys, male 11 and male 18 can cook and the elder sister, female 22, complains the entire time so they wait for me to do it and then they swarm and ask. Earlier I was cooking something because I was hungry. Specifically bacon. The boys go crazy for it. On cue they smelled it and they swarm for me. I was tired and in a bad mood so I said no. The oldest male joked for a bit and then left not really caring while my youngest brother stayed and this is how it played out. Oh my god please make me bacon. No piss off. OMG I'll buy you something. I continued to say no and he started complimenting me and telling me I was his favourite. I said no finally and made him leave the kitchen. As he was leaving, he said, fine, B arch, I can do it myself anyways. I don't need you. Oh my god, they're 11. If it was once, I'd let it slide, but this has happened multiple times, and I'm starting to get worried since he does this with all the women in my house except my brother and my dad. Yeah, fair enough too. That's bloody awful, and you don't want this getting any worse than it already is. They need to learn so soon that this is not a good way to think. Yeah, good luck with that because that's awful. Like, I know they're bloody 11, but like the top comment says, your parents need to know. He's probably watching toxic content on YouTube or anywhere else, and this can get worse. Yeah, a million percent. Girls will always go for the bad guy. It's a yin-yang thing. They also want to feel like they're the ones chasing. If you're chasing her, you're setting yourself up, bro. Just keeping it a buck. You can even ask these older couples who have been married for 50 years. That's why nice guys finish last. I stopped giving a crap what women think years ago, and they immediately started showing me they loved it. Oh my god, that's so cringe. Bro, if you genuinely feel like nice guys finish last or some sort of variation of that, where like if you're a good person, that's a bad
head thing or something, just know that that's your issue in thinking like this because that's not reality. And yeah, I feel like that's enough for today, guys. Let's read something that's not infuriating and concerning. Maybe something wholesome. Sleeping next to someone you love helps you to fall asleep faster. Reduces depression and helps you live longer. Me? Yeah, 100%. Like an incredible partner is good, but so is an incredible cat. Being happily married is like having a sleepover with your best friend every night for the rest of your life. Giggles behind blanket. So, who do you have a crush on? Wife? Oh, for God's sake. That's so cute. Oh my God, I know who you like. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure you know who I like. Don't let a bad day distract you from all the progress you've made. Wow, that's so true. And it is so easy to do that as well. Yeah, wow, that's so true. Like, oh, today sucked. But it's like, no, no, no. Remember, you're doing amazing. And today is only one day. If good things lasted forever, would we appreciate how precious they are? Damn, the wholesome memes are good today. But yeah, 100%, that's right. And on that beautiful note, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful time. And if you did and you want to see more nice guys, make sure you like and subscribe, all that fun stuff. And the comment of the day goes to vidgirl88. I feel like we all need a shirt with the audacity on it with big bold letters. Wow, that's not a bad idea. Like just a shirt that says the absolute audacity. Yeah, wow, that's a good idea. Thank you guys so much for all your support. It means so much to me. That was a roller coaster ride of a video as it always is. And let me know down below what you want to see next, guys. And as always, make sure you look after yourself and make sure you have a beautiful, amazing rest of your day. And you know what I'm about to say because I say it every single day. Bye!